What are three exercises for a fit pregnancy? Come on, I'll show you. Hey, I'm Tori from Mommy Bar, and today I'm going to teach you three exercises that are great to know so you can stay healthy and in shape and have a fit pregnancy. These will get your core, pelvic floor, and you just feeling great um, to counteract any of the postural changes that happen with pregnancy and get you ready for carrying baby around. So first, we're going to start with some squats. These are great. Um, to prep your legs, keep your legs nice and strong as you gain a little bit of weight throughout your pregnancy. And one of the top birth experts, Ina Gaskin, says doing squats every day preps you for an easy birth. So, all right, you're just going to take your feet hip width apart um, a little bit further, and you want to make sure that you try to keep your shoulders right over top of your hips as much as you possibly can. You're going to take a nice inhale and exhale, pull that core in nice and tight as, as far as you can. And you're going to squat down and squeeze back up. So you want to squat down, get that glute, glutes activated, squeeze up, feel like you have, your glutes are lifting up like an elevator. I like to put my arms out to the front to just give a nice little um, level since my butt is going back. So you want to feel like you're about to sit and fall backwards and squeeze your way up. And those are easy. My little tips to do while you're brushing your teeth, um, while you're just standing, um, if you're cooking dinner, some things like that. If you're waiting on something, just try get in position and do some nice squats, making sure those glutes are really engaging and activating. Now for our second top exercise for fit pregnancy, we're going to do some plans. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down on your side, bend your knees, you want to keep your shoulders in line with your hips, keep that core engaged, not just like, don't just hang belly out there, and you're going to take a nice inhale, you're going to exhale and lift that knee up towards the ceiling. Inhale as you're on your way down, exhale on the way up. And what you want to feel here is each time you lift your leg up, you only want it to go up so far as to not rotate your hips backwards, as well as you want to feel that pelvic floor engaging and that core engaging. This will help connect everything so that you have a nice, strong back, strong core to help support um, you as well as baby as you're carrying baby around. Good, and we'll flip and we'll do 10 on the other side just to even ourselves out. And these help stabilize those hips, which can get loosey goosey from the relaxing and um, have some pain based on the weight of carrying a baby. Two more, and last one. And then you want to press yourself up to the side. You don't want to roll into your back and do like a sit up up. All right, our third exercise for a fifth pregnancy are wall push-ups. I had to turn my camera a little bit since my uh, reformer and tower is in the way. So, just find a wall, and I say wall push-ups rather than just push-ups on the floor because they take some of that weight off, especially as your belly gets bigger, as baby is growing. Um, you don't want to have all that cool down towards the floor because it will get harder and harder to keep your core engaged. So you want to be able to keep your core nice and engaged so you're supporting um, baby and your belly and your spine, and you don't want to hold your breath. And it's really easy to hold our breath. It's a lot easier to hold your breath 
while you're doing your push-ups this way. Whereas here, if you're not concentrating so much on engaging that core because you have less weight pressing down, you're a little bit less likely to hold your breath. So, what you're going to do is you're going to inhale here, and you're going to exhale as you go in toward the wall and press out. And what I like to do is I like to do a set of 10 with your elbows out, and then a set of 10 with your elbows down and kind of pulled in towards your um, body because those will work different muscles and this, these will both help with keeping your shoulders back because there's that tendency and in pregnancy as well as after baby comes is you'll get into this curved forward position because in pregnancy the weight of your breasts are getting um, heavier um, and just how your spine is from your baby growing in your belly, and then once baby's here, holding, nursing, bottle feeding, this becomes our tendency. So, pulling those shoulders back, inhale, exhale in, engaging that core. And you can adjust the level of difficulty with how far in you bring your legs and how far out you bring your legs. So my recommendation is to start in closer until you feel like you have that core engaged, you're really feeling those muscles behind your shoulders and shoulder blades. Um, and then as you get a little bit more comfortable and stronger, you can start moving your legs out. All right, well, thanks for joining me for these three top tips for fit pregnancy. And make sure you subscribe below so you can get all of our tips, how-tos, and quick workout videos for pregnancy after baby and just on your own. And if you're already subscribed and you're not seeing our videos, make sure you hit that little bell so you get notifications uh, every time we post a new video. All right, thanks for joining me. See you at the Mommy Bar.